we're going out to try the new coil tech 14 by 9 gold hawk on my 6000 and look out here this morning yeah there's a couple of them up there he's gonna run off i think we got one right over here and we got another two right there and they're just kind of munching on the trees up here there's one in the yard this morning but yeah gotta love the local residents okay as i said earlier i'm trying out the uh, new coil tech gold hawk 14 times 9 inches elliptical mono i just dug my first target here a piece of iron a little piece of wire metal iron whatever um i'm a little close to the coil of the camera i get back here it quiets down but if i get close but it's here in the camera as well but yeah the coil runs very smooth um lightweight so it doesn't affect the weight of the machine much and we're going to go out here we're at never ending wash one of my favorite places and we're going to see about getting a nugget or two out of this wash after all the rain we just had moved a lot of stuff down here um, so we're going to see if we can't get a nugget out of here we call it never ending wash because it seems like every time it rains hard we can squeak out another one been hunting here for years so well without further ado let's get with it the no cms are really bad out here uh, a little bit of rain and they're here to eat my face so i got my face covered up as best i can and we're going to go hunt gold well i thought this was going to be on the surface and i thought it was going to be that hot rock which is sort of hot but there's still something down here so we we'll take out the scoop instead of the pick and see if it's a hot rock or what here. I had a guy ask me in one of my last videos how many picks I go through a year. Or picks, I'm sorry, scoops. Because I dig with the scoops so much. And actually, these scoops last me quite a while. Oh, I moved it. Uh oh. And I don't know. I guess I go through a scoop every few years. They last a long time. I think we got it. Okay, let's see what it is we got. I'm really surprised we've been getting targets out of this washer anymore. It's been worked so long. So hard. Is it that rock? No. Oh, I think I see it. Yep, a little sharp nail. Look at here, a little nail. Oh well. Hey, it's a target and it was there. Shouldn't have been. We've hunted this area pretty hard over the years. Like I said, if you come back here after a rain, everything moves around and suddenly there's targets again. Yep. Okay, we got something going on right down here. This is a mono coil, so we're pinpointing around the edge. Let's see what we got here. Get these two rocks out of the way, make sure we don't have a hot rock. Okay. Sounds like it's right down in here. that quick okay let's see what we got when you get my head down there you're hearing my headphones around my neck so it's, it's the nature of the beast this thing's so sensitive Okay, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Oh, 
Huh. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a piece of trash. Yep. Right there. Some sort of piece of metal. But it's a target, wasn't it? Boy, these no sims out here are really something today. Yes, they are. I don't know if you can see these little guys swarming around my head, but man, they're terrible. <laughs> they are. And they get in your ears and stuff like that and just bite the crap out of you. But anyway, we got a target down here, a real faint one. All right. But here, where was it? I had a target. Huh. Right in there. So we're going to put this camera down and dig it up. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it could be a hot rock. It's real faint. I'll get these rocks off the top first. Okay, now let's have a listen. Yep, it's gone. That guy right there. Okay, off we go. All right, I, I moved some rocks away from here, and we've got a target We're right by where the little hot rock was so it's right in here right in here now iron stone and basalt and some other stuff are going to be hot rocks no matter what and I still get a lot of comments about people who say I couldn't stand to listen to a threshold well, some machines have got people spoiled. And the Gold Monster is one of them because you don't have to listen to a threshold. But I uh, think you have more of an advantage with a pulse induction, especially pulse induction if you can hear a threshold. Hear the way that breaks the threshold? This one sounds pretty decent. Hopefully it's not this. Nope. There's another rock. Not that one either. So. Okay, we moved it, I think. Got it. No. Nope. Maybe it was that rock. No. Nope. Huh. Okay, I gotta move the camera. Yeah. See if we can find this target again. Sounds like it's in here. Right there. Right in that pile of dirt. You're hearing my headphones when I get close. Okay, it's right here. Okay, we got it. Huh. 
Okay. Now I can calm this thing down a little bit. We will. I'm supposed to be ground balancing and uh, holding it above the ground. But for practical purposes, when I'm in a hole like this, I just do it on the ground like this. Once I start moving, I'll have to tune it again. But I think this is going to be trash. Well, I sure don't see a nugget in there. I do think. Oh, a little piece of iron. Tin can or something. It is what it is, guys. Okay, we got a target right in here. Yeah. Right in this area here. I like it when this stuff gets exposed. Boy, you gotta bleed to get them around here. Jeez, rock got me. A lot of hot rocks in here too, though. And look at the mineralization in that one. Kinda loud. down there. It's in the clay. There's a layer of clay in here. Targets get on top of that layer. All right, we moved it. Oh, it's a loud one. Hey, right, we got it. Let's see what we got. in my hand right off the bat. Sometimes that's not good. In my hand. Oh, I see it. See that? Look right there. Look right there, my friends. That is a dirty little San Domingo nugget. And it's got a little rock on it, it looks like, maybe. It's a nice little piece of gold, about a half gram, maybe. A little less. <laughs> well, I've dug a bunch of trash. Oops. Dug a bunch of trash to get that sucker. It was right here where this, uh, the washes kind of flowed here and exposed this material here, but that's a nice piece. Yeah, that's a nice piece. I'll take those all day long if I can get them. Okay, yet another target. I kicked the rocks off. So I could hear it at the edge of that big one. Once again in that clay. Which is quite often a good sign here. It's even a better sign if it's down in it a ways. Hmm. Where'd it go? 
Oh, come on. Huh. There, I moved it. It's right here. Sounds like a piece of iron. Yeah, you can tell after a while. But I've been wrong many a time and it's been gold. I thought it was trash and vice versa. Too close to the camera here. Let me move a little. Get it quiet right down. In my hand. Yeah, it sounds like trash. Okay, something right here. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. What's that? <laughs> I think that's number two on the day, folks. It's a little one. Real little. Yeah, it's a nugget. All right, there we go. Another little nuggie right here. It's in the shade. Let me get some sun on it. Now you can see it. Just a little bitty one. Huh? How about that? That was down quite a ways. Coil Tech Coils does quite a fine job. No problem here in that little bugger. Yeah, I'll take them all day long, big or small. I'll get this away from my headphones. Yeah. Okay, two nuggets with a new coil. That's a good thing. That's a good thing indeed. Yep. Well, we got a real screamer right here. Sounds like a piece of tin. Bring this over. The burden here is kind of from the flood, so it's probably something light. Yeah, I moved it already. Okay. Right here. I'm guessing trash for sure on this one. And that's what it is, piece of aluminum. Yep, lightweight. I knew it was because up in that blow sand. Thank God for this big old floppy hat. It uh, has kept the no see -em somewhat at bay. But anyway, today was a good day. First time out with the Coil Tech Goldhawk. 14 by 9, and we got two nuggets. Two nice nuggies. One little and one a little bit larger. But hey, I'll take it. It's gold. Take it there. Huh? Cute. But it's gold. So what do I think of the coil? Well, it works. Um, I like the shape of it. 14 of my 9 has always been one of my favorite configurations because it can get in, point into places, and it seems to pinpoint a little better than some of the round coils and stuff. But, uh, yeah. Way to go, Trevor and Coil Tech. Nice job. I like this coil. I'll be putting some black paper on the edge of it to keep the black sand and other crap out. But, uh, yeah, two nuggets in a hammered wash. You know, the 6,000 is doing that anyway in hammered places, but, uh, well, this coil definitely found two nuggets, didn't it? So, I'm impressed. I like it. It's very stable, and it's a winner, my friends, and we got them in stock. So, if you're interested, go to my website, nuggetshooter.com, and have a look. And for now, like, subscribe, ring the bell. There's more gold out here somewhere, but these no seams are driving me absolutely batty today. You can probably see them buzzing around my head. Little buggers, they bite hard. They call it no seams because they're so tiny. But man, they get in your ears, they get in your nose, your eyes. Yeah, pain in the butt. So hey, nugget shooter out.